This land is your land, and this land is my land. All right, a little rant here. Um, I see through the illusion of, of the red, blue, or right, left paradigm, actually the whole empire system, including the Zionist. Um, but who's behind them is my question, because right now, um, what's going here on here in Ameristan needs to stop when Obama... I, and I and this is a show here when he called Republicans, um, I don't know, I can't read with the camera on. Um, Obama compared Republicans, which this is not a show, this is just ornamental, in Congress to workers going on strike, telling reporters Tuesday that GOP law lawmakers had no more right to shut down the government than factory workers had to walk off their job. What do you mean by that? What if you're in a slave, like most of us are, slave factory workers? We have a right to walk off our job, Mr. CEO of D.C. Stay your ass in D.C. and we'll just build a big old wall around it. At this point, you've sanctioned the country. You let illegal immigrants, and, you're, and that's the words they're using, illegal immigrants go on that mall when regular citizens of, the, of, of America cannot go and do anything. The veterans cannot go to the Vietnam War Memorial, nor can the World War II veterans, the ones that are left, go to their memorials. But the truckers and the memorial veterans, or all veterans, I believe, are going to be there. Beware, because we America are not going to be sanctioned anymore. The Native Americans are stepping up. They want their lands back. You never gave them money. Treaties are all breached. Now, Mr. Obama, every card you can play is going to go against you. And you're just a puppet. And all the banksters that fund you, they're kind of just ornaments, too. Uh, we're going to go after the big dogs, not the Rockefellers or Rothschilds, because they're ornaments, too. We're going to, if we make the Soros and Rockefellers and Rothschilds hide, then the big guns have to come out, and they'll finally expose who they really are. Because you know good and damn well it isn't the Rockefellers and Rothschilds. If you've ever dug down that rabbit hole, they're just the ornaments that the bigger people shove out there. Um... Or they'd already be dead. You think about that really hard. So now this is what I have to say in my little rant. While they're doing all these distractions and doing everything to push your buttons, you back them truckers up. And truckers, I'm asking you to set all differences aside. Whether you you believe in the illusion or not, just go there with step out of the box for a minute and say, I'm doing this for everybody in America. And, and everybody in America will back you. Um, I hope the bikers and the veterans show up, and I'm going to do my part here at home. I hope everybody does their part. We need to get this thing, get it going, and I know Canada is going to join in. Thank you, my friends to the north. You have been awesome, and uh, we need to get this remixed. Um, we have now been sanctioned, sanctioned. The United States of America has been sanctioned by the CEO of Washington, D.C. Children and women are not getting wicked. Food stamps, or some people are not getting their food stamps. They say they're going to cut Social Security. They do that, trouble's on. You wanted to pick a fight, you may not be able to handle the fight. So keep pushing and picking. We'll see where this ends up. I don't like violence myself. However, you guys have went out way out of line, and you police need to stand down. If you've ever thought, just think what you're doing right now, and stand down and stand with the whole of America. Stand with the group of American citizens because all of us are starting to feel it because your family's involved in this too, you know. So please stand with us, the citizens of the United States and with the new, you know, the Indian nations too because they are the original people of the United States. So stand up with us. Don't block people from going in the memorials. You know, it, it would take just a few of you guys to turn this thing around. You police there in Washington, D.C. And, and pull them cones up off the highway so that some of the Indian reservations can get wood for their wood stoves. For God's sakes, are you that out of touch with humanity? Get some humanity in you. Get rid of that apathy. We're all in this together. Peace, love, truth. Linda's out.